All right, so uh, this is going to be Libra Sun, Moon, Ayn as well, Rising, Love and Relationship Tarot Reading, February 10th to February 16th, 2020. And in case you are interested, guys, into getting in uh, getting in touch with me for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a, a link to my website as well as a link to your other video of the week, which focuses on business and career. So the first card in term of love and relationship here, it is the justice card, which stands for the topic and the theme of the week for you, followed by the energies that are supporting the topic that is to be the tower card. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week in term of love and relationship. Uh, that is uh, the Six of Swords and afterwards, it is what we do have, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of love and relationship and that is to be the chariot. Afterwards, it is how people are taking on you, what kind of an impression you are giving into your uh, personal interest, into your uh, beloved one, you know, friends and family, um, husband or a wife and so on and so forth. That is to be the moon card. And the last one here, it is the guidance the tarot is offering to you in term of love and relationship. That is to be the tree of wands. Okay, so um, quite heavy on the very first cards, uh, I would like to say. Now the energies of the tower card, which uh, is manifested through the justice. So what we do have, it's a period throughout this week in terms of your love and relationship life where you would like uh, things to happen. The whole energy around is that something needs to start boiling, if you will, or, or it's just something has to take place in there into your current relationship or into your a, a, a current love life and that's why as an energy this card is very prone into uh, into experiencing crashes okay especially if you have been single for a long time ago that is very very possible that you are just gonna crash into someone all right and but that is just only you it's not definitive that the other person is going to crash into you as well however when we're talking about already existing interactions or already existing relationships now the tower card and as it's linked to the justice it is more like the transition of moving into more serious matters okay like a serious conver conversations about the future of two of you about a serious uh, mutual uh, how can I say it? Um, responsibilities that you will have to take to one another because the justice card here as a, a topic of uh, topic of your week, it is where your uh, love and relationship life is going to become more. Uh, I don't tend to believe that the world is that the world is balanced but it's more like it's gonna take the mid stand here okay it's not gonna be the most important thing for you but it is not going to be the the the, the part that it is neglected in your life completely that it is uh doa um by default and that's why those who are absolutely single are gonna be prone for a, a crush but that crush is not gonna have any real meaning at least not at the start of it just gonna be for the sake of kind of involving yourself uh, with uh, with someone now important thing here with the justice it is that throughout this week you're gonna start differentiate what is in what are those important traits that a relationship needs to have for you and those cards now that I think of they are very potent in term of reconciliation but if that's the case it is because we're talking about the traits what are the important traits maybe you are going to find that those important traits have resided back in some ex of yours or are residing in a person that you are reposing back for one or another reason you need to know that the tower is a very unstable energy and under its um, under its manifestation, many things that you are 
um, that up until this moment you believe that they will never gonna happen they may happen okay I mean one one morning you can wake up and kind of experiencing nothing toward the person lying next to you or you can just wake up and you can say oh my god I really love that damn fool you know but the the point is that it manifests itself through a very balancing card and instead of freaking out about these very unexpected certain sudden urges and sudden um it's not even interests but more like a uh, inspirations um no the word is different i'm searching for one second here guys um passions so sudden passions that you're gonna have uh, you will also not gonna rush into them and instead you are going to aim to um apply them in a rather very um practical manner okay so that that will exclude you doing stupid things and that will exclude you how can i say it um, exposing yourself to the audience and so you can be exposed to a humiliation and lastly with those two cards what i can say is that they are flawless about rebuilding of a relationship that have not yet been ending but it is going in a very bad way those energies here are pointing it is that that relationship can really be glued up together but in order this to happen everybody needs to take its part into it once again we're talking about balance here okay so as you have have to maintain your responsibilities in it the other person has to maintain their responsibility in it as well and ultimately at the end of the day whenever this very turmoiling week ends you are going to start feeling relief okay that something had changed into your current status may not be changed physically okay but uh, at the end of the day you're gonna find yourself different because even if you don't end up in relationship throughout the week as a product of the crush that you're gonna have hey at least you can experience something towards someone and that feeling of uh, excitement that feeling of, of interest is not alien to you and there is a um, quite a big field moving forward into the future to experience it to someone that will return back the same feeling to you the other card that we do have it is the challenges that you will have to overcome here these are the challenges of the six of swords and um, for those these the, which are single the challenge only resides into that uh, they will have to eventually start um, doing something in a sense of that it doesn't stay different than that uh, say an interaction in between man and a woman and the woman have the crush on them uh, over the man but I kind of expect the man to do the first steps because that is the common sense of our society but the thing these days is that man and woman we do have equal rights therefore we do have equal responsibilities therefore equal things are expected from us therefore if you like something you gotta do the step for it okay and if you are waiting then you are not overcoming the challenge then nothing happens so that is the challenge for those which are single but for those which are in a relationship the challenge is going to be to display the reason why that relationship should move forward and especially those who want a reconciliation why that reconciliation needs to happen what is going to be the different this time around that is not going to lead up into the same deterioration that you have experienced back in the days or you are experiencing currently into the deteriorating relationship um, next one is going to be the gifts and the blessings for you guys and that is to be the chariot so single people gifts and blessing with chariot you want relationship so bad you can have it but it's going to be a premature that doesn't mean that it cannot happen as a long lasting one it is just be prepared that you are to face some rather how can i say it unexpectedly unpleasant um aspects of the character for example of the person that you are going to jump into um premature relation, relationship in or a, a kind of like aspects of their life as well that you wouldn't like that much because the chariot is always um kind of like associated with a bit of a struggle you know the chariot is a triumph true slogan struggle where you finally kind of like uh, accomplish your wish fulfillment 
but in the same time you work hard for it so at the end of the day you can call your results that are the luck of my hard work shit okay and uh, that being said here as well as a gifts and blessings uh, it does look like that if you believe in the divine that the divine is going to give you strength to push through whatever problems you have into your a uh, or you are you had into your previous relationship or you are having into your current relationship that up until this moment they kind of like were a a game breaking you know problems but now they don't seem that way actually you know they kind kind of start taking a shape more of a a, a trifles than anything else and they're Therefore, you can push forward through it and at the end of the day having triumphing over, triumphing over those uh, over those problems and saving your relationship but once again something needs to change guys you can't have it the same way you had it up until this point and in order that thing to change you have to kind of like go through rather unpleasant symptoms unpleasant a uh, circumstances for example, force your partner to do their part into the relationship or force yourself if you have been carried on up until this point into the relationship. Although I believe that very few people are to admit that they have been the one who was carried on in a, a relationship. Any person you ask, they would tell you that they have done everything they could. But, you know, if everybody does what they can in a relationship, then every relationship would have been flawless wouldn't it so it takes a big uh, how can i say self-awareness to to recognize your own mistakes and, and work over them as well uh then it is what we do have uh, the how the people are going to take on you what kind of an impression you are going to leave into the people around in terms of love and relationship and that is not very good card in my opinion it is because people are going to see you very unpredictable it's simply they will not know what you want how you plan to have it how you stand what you are wanting to do for example your partner will not know are you planning to leave them or are you want to kind of work over the issues you do have into your current relationship your suitor will have a mixed signals uh, you know, um, uh, what do you want from them? It is because the moon kind of like prones people to fall into fantasies, utopias as well. Uh, and also it puts up, it obscures the, the reality of how one person in, this, in that position that is, how one person stands. So it will be very important throughout the week to be uh, quite... Uh, or I would say pretty straightforward, cutting straight to the chase. Don't try to give them hints. Those hints are going to be misinterpreted significantly. Don't expect people to act on their will and to fulfill your expectations because that is simply not going to happen because people can't read your mind and while you may think that your signals that you are sending in for, uh, to them are pretty straightforward for them they are quite mixed and they don't know are you interested or not in them okay do you love them or not what do you want in general from them so people once again are going to see you very unpredictable and uh, for one or another reason very apprehensive as well in terms of how things are to move on from now and that could drift you apart from those you love and from those you like needless to say here with the moon card guys be careful what you are talking and be careful what you are saying because whatever you say it will be remembered if i may express myself that way and so the last card that we do have in term of love and relationship here it is the tree of wands and that card urges you to try to work out what you have instead of going for something new at that point so the card itself urges you to try to recuperate your relationship to try to reconcile if you have that chance to try with a friend before you seek a new suitor with a, uh, within another social circles because the card itself points that within your framework within the people that are you are surrounded up until that point you can have your expectations met okay you can have the love you require you can have 
uh, the life, the love life that you uh, that you so much want. But it will take an effort from your behalf. That's the point here. Okay, it it will not happen on its own accord. And for that reason, you have to push yourself as well. Because with the Tree of Wands, both of you need to step on a solid foundation. Or the foundation is going to be each other, for, for each other. That is, you're going to be the, their foundation, they're going to be your foundation. And that together, you challenge yourself to make something to happen out of it. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And there you're going to find a link to my website as well, a uh, link to the other video of your week, which is focused on business and career. Hopefully we're going to see each other around as well. And up until, up until then, bye.